Hello, it's John here for the next part of our neon sign tutorial. So what I've done at this point is I've come across into Unreal Engine. And what I need to do is import all of my stuff. So I'm just going to create a new folder first. And let's call this neon sign. And enter you. And I'm just going to import that object that we created last time in 3D. Cool. Alright, that's importing. And yeah, now we're ready to get to work. This should be sort of a fairly easy, straightforward tutorial. Let's still look at it, have a quick look-see. And there you go, you can see we've got oops, our uh, object there. And what I'm going to do is go to File, New, Level, and create an empty level. And the reason I'm doing this is because Bix is going to be a neon sign, I really want to get that glow looking perfect. So I'm just going to import this into my scene, scale it up a whole bunch. Rotate it, get it looking cool, and I'll do. So it's brought a material in with it, but we don't want that. We want to create a new material. So I'm going to call this neon underscore matte. Let's keep it straightforward. Open that bad boy up, and we're ready to get going. Cool. All right, so inside here, we're going to keep this relatively basic. We're going to hold three to choose our color, and this is going to be our glow color. And let's go for a nice electric blue. Mm, yeah, that should be nice. So we've got a blue and we're going to take that into our emissive, but it's not quite going to be powerful enough yet, so I'm going to right click and add a multiply. And this multiply is going to be how strong it's going to be. So for sake of example, let's try 44 and wire you into our blue and you are going to go into our emissive and let's hit save and what we're going to do with this is drop this material onto our object so I'm not sure if 44 is going to be powerful enough it looks really nice there let's try to get it away for a second oops and drop you into here. Awesome, right? Very simple, quick thing to do. So this is something that I would recommend sort of a bit more for beginners, but it's not really about the Unreal part at the end. It's more about trying to use the Photoshop into Max and working with the splines. So we've done a couple of things in this tutorial, and what we're going to do is improve it a bit. So at the moment, it's just this sort of solid blue. And neon signs are a bit more sort of flickery than that filtery. So what I'm going to do is bring across my material editor again, so I'm going to need to be able to see this. And if I brought it too far across, let's go into our content. So if you've got start content on, look for textures, and we'll just use one of theirs. Uh, 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 uh. Which one looks good? Which one looks good? That could be interesting. Noise? Yeah, I'm going to give noise a try. I want something that looks like it's got a big range to it. Um, it's sort of messy as well. So with this, this is going to be sort of like, think of it as the filter. So let me drag you over here. So what we are going to need to do is have this on movement, so I'm going to put a panner on it, and let's just say 0.512, why not, doesn't really matter too much what you set those to. So we've got this set up, we're going to need to combine these, and let's try it with an ad, hopefully an ad should give us a nice outcome. So 
and I'm going to hit save. And what this is hopefully going to do is it's going to have the texture that from the start to content just moving around on the objects and actually almost flicker and filter the light a bit, get it looking really nice. And I'm trying it with an add, but it might work a bit better with a multiply. I mm, can't really see it too much there, but let's see what it looks like in here. We've got a little bit of a flicker, we can sort of see around there. It's not as awesome as I'd like, so what I'm going to do is try this with a multiply instead. So I'm going to hold M and left click. I'm going to delete you, we don't need you. Probably going to take the glow down a bit to maybe 38. Yeah, let's try 38. Bring you up into here, like so, you into there, like so, and you into there, like so, and hit save. And hopefully, with the bit of lesser glow now, with the multiply, it should give us a slightly different effect. I was hoping the ad would work first time. There we go, we can see it's sort of a lot more movement on this now. So if we move you out of the way, and press play, that's pretty crazy. So much, too much flickering. Even for a neon light. Hmm. Looks pretty good. Looks alright. I think it's, it's a bit too much. What we could try doing is try using a different texture. Let's try smoke. And it, like I say, at this point, it's merely just about play with it, experimenting. And let's try you. If this doesn't work, could try it again with the add. Could maybe even try putting a blend on there. That one should be a lot nicer. Yeah, that's a bit better. So we've got that sort of big flickering neon. I'm going to take these numbers down a bit as well. 0 0.2, 0 0.5, and 1. Value. Let's try with the add. I'm going to hold A, left click. Bring you into here, you into there. Save. And let's see how this is going to look. No, I don't think the ad works. I think the ad's just not quite strong enough. Because we, we sort of do get a small glimmer of the sign flickering. You can sort of see the filter a bit. But it's almost, it's just too subtle. It's too subtle. Well, we could take the multiply down and bring that up, but I don't think we need to. I think it works better with the multiply. Should we try a blend real quick? Um, let's try hard light. Ooh, that looks nice. That is real cool. Nice. Yep, I'm happy with that. So there we go. What we have done is we've done a whole bunch of things with create a spline in Photoshop, we've moved that across the max, we've created a 3D object around this, and then we've brought this into Unreal and created ourselves this really nice 3D neon sign. And set up our material, 
looks awesome. I'm happy with that. Hope you found some of that useful and you might should keep your, you know, keep your chop shop quality. So thanks for watching. As always, remember if you enjoy our content, you can head across to our Patreon and support us there, or check out our website. Anything you want to do, leave a comment below, like and subscribe, all that usual stuff. Again, as always, thanks for watching.